Hello, and welcome to Cameco and You, a podcast from Cameco Corporation. Worldwide, there is growing recognition that nuclear power is an essential part of ensuring safe, reliable, and affordable carbon-free electricity. As one of the world's largest suppliers of uranium fuel for nuclear reactors, Cameco is poised to help combat climate change and deliver long-term business value in the process. In our first episode of Cameco and You, President and CEO Tim Gitzel reflects on the impacts of COVID-19, actions Cameco is taking now to prepare for the future, the changing energy landscape, and the vital role nuclear power has in energizing a clean air world. You're looking at Cameco's corporate head office here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. Welcome inside our headquarters. I'm Tim Gitzel, President and CEO of Cameco. I hope you and your families are safe and healthy. I can tell you it has been 13 months that we're never gonna forget. The time was some tremendous lows in our world, but also plenty of moments to be proud of as we've done our best to navigate through these strange times. It was almost one year ago today that I stood in this building and announced Cameco's $1 million COVID relief fund, where we sent much needed financial aid to 40 different communities in our region. Our employees also rolled up their sleeves and built 1,200 care packages to send to remote and vulnerable northern communities. I can tell you it was a logistical puzzle to deliver so much aid in such a short period of time, but the North is home to many of our employees and we knew we had to do whatever we could to help. So together with our airline partners, we delivered over 42,000 pounds of goods to the North. A very proud moment for me and for the company. Today, as we look ahead to better days beyond the pandemic, we're also proud of the work being done to prepare Cameco for the future. And I believe we're going to emerge from this time stronger and safer. From our headquarters in Saskatoon, we're about 700 kilometers south of our tier one assets in the uranium rich Athabasca Basin. And for the last year, we've been safely and diligently focusing our efforts on digital transformation and the innovations we need to make to transform MacArthur River and Key Lake into the mine and mill of the future. So when it's time for them to reopen, they will be leaner, more agile and be ready to roll. It's an exciting time for us as we also launch our digital transformation across the entire company. From our Cigar Lake mine in Northern Saskatchewan to our fuel services division in Ontario in Blind River and Port Hope. This project is changing how we work, making us better, safer, and more efficient. While it's an exciting time for our company, I think it's also an exciting time for our entire industry. Around the globe, we are seeing an increasing focus on electrification for various reasons. There are those that are installing baseload power, those who are looking for a reliable replacement to fossil fuel sources, And finally, there's new demand for things like the electrification of transportation. This is occurring precisely at the same time countries and companies around the world are making net zero commitments. Today, the world relies on fossil fuels for about 80% of its energy supply. So we've got a long way to go to meet the targets we're looking at and the demand for both electrification and decarbonization. From a policy point of view, there's a recognition that nuclear will be needed in the toolbox to sustainably achieve both electrification and decarbonization. As our Canadian Minister of Natural Resources, Seamus O'Regan has said on numerous occasions, there is no solution to climate change and CO2 reduction that doesn't involve nuclear. Here in Canada, the province of Ontario is probably the best example. Bruce Power and OPG are producing about 60 to 65% of Ontario's power with nuclear. Elsewhere, China and India are continuing to lead the way in pushing ambitious nuclear plans. And the world's largest nuclear market, the US, has also recommitted to the Global Paris Agreement and has designs on reestablishing the country's position as a global leader in the development of commercial nuclear technologies. So nuclear is getting another look and there's growing recognition that it must be an important part of the solution to the climate crisis. That's the basis for our excitement for the future. We believe all the right fundamentals are in place and we remain very bullish on the uranium market. 
And we at Cameco are in a great position to benefit from this renewed focus on nuclear power and the nuclear industry. We've got great people, great assets, a great strategy and a strong balance sheet. All of the ingredients necessary for a bright future, energizing a clean air world. Thank you for listening to Cameco and you. We hope you found it helpful and encourage you to learn more in the invest section of cameco.com. There you'll find our most current investor disclosures and news items. We'd also love to hear your feedback, questions, and suggestions for future topics. So feel free to email us at investor underscore requests at cameco.com.